We are here in beautiful Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn, building a 5.7 kW solar system. We call this a tilt rack, creatively so, because it's tilted. The other type of system we build is a canopy. On this building right here, we're fitting 18 panels, which is not a huge solar system, but in residential terms, it's actually pretty decent. This solar system complies with all the fire codes and will still offset the vast majority of this house's energy use. My name is Galen McKee. I am president and co-founder of Brooklyn Solar Works. We're all working for another bigger solar company and the typical residential solar installation is on a pitched roof where a truck can just roll up with a crew of guys, they throw up their ladders, they mount the panels flush with the roof plane. Occasionally we'd get phone calls from people in the city right next to where we lived asking if they could go solar and the protocol was just to disqualify them, to tell them, no, sorry, we don't install on flat roofs. Which was frustrating. After working for this company for a few years, we decided that we should try to figure out how to install solar on flat roofs. We build a system that's attached to as many of the roof rafters as we can. But because we're attaching to the roof rafters, it limits just exactly how we can orient the system. Ideally, you'd have the whole thing facing due south. Uh, we've given it a little bit of a compound tilt, so it's higher on that far corner and lowest on that corner over there. Let's try to get as best production as we can. Here we are at Brooklyn Solar Works shop and testing facility in beautiful Gowanus, Brooklyn. Behind me we have a 18 panel solar canopy that we installed a few months ago. As you can see this canopy is at its lowest point, nine feet high, to raise us above the fire code. If you build it nine feet tall, you are able to cover skylights, hatches, most of the obstacles on the roof. And we tilt those pretty minimally, uh, somewhere between three to five degrees, ideally south if we can. Part of that's for production gain, but it's also for just runoff purposes. So, you know, you don't have rainwater ponding on the panel and then dirt getting into that rainwater. And if it dries out, then you'll get a nice little brown patch on top of the panel that will hurt the productivity of the panel. If we tilt it severely, then you start to get wind loading. If you can imagine tilting something 20 degrees, the whole structure is 20 feet long. One side has to be nine feet minimum. The other side is going to be much, much taller. The electricity flows from panel to panel and then down into this disconnect through this conduit and then downstairs into the electric panel. If we are not using all the electricity that the system is generating, it comes down, finds nowhere to go, and then gets pushed back through this bi-directional meter and back out into Con Ed's power lines to ultimately be used by some of our neighbors or anybody nearby. What I like about solar is it's just a really good blending of a bunch of different things from engineering to technology to science. All those things come together in a pretty neat package where we get to build really functional things that produce electricity.